My daily quiet time is uh, a time when I connect with uh, with the Lord and um, develop the intimate relationship with Him and um, pour my affections out to Him and receive affection from Him. Um, it's it's when I do the most growing in my relationship with him. A particular quiet time that really stands out in um, my walk is the evening when I was pouring out my heart before the Lord, um, begging him to reveal to me whether or not this man who was pursuing me was my intended husband. and. Um, I journaled and I was just talking to him and um, I waited patiently and he spoke so clearly that I just began weeping tears of joy, um, especially over the fact that we have a living God who still speaks audibly to his children. Uh, that was one particular instance. Another would be um, asking him to reveal to me very clearly what it is he wanted me to do um, in regards to leaving a place that I'd lived for a long period of time. Um, he was closing all of these doors and as I spent time with him every day, just almost asking the same question over and over again, what do you, what do you want from me? What do you have for me? What's your will? Um, how can I be obedient in this? situation, he revealed more and more of his plan, and, um, and I followed what he, uh, what he instructed me to do, and arrived in Hemet, where he unfolded all these amazing blessings. A daily quiet time consists of um, spending time reading. Um, and I have a particular plan that I like to follow, but it's not, it's structured, but it's not, um, it's flexible. I do more of a survey throughout the Bible, a couple uh, chapters in the Book of the Law, the um, Wisdom books, the Prophets, one book in the gospel, uh, Gospels, and one book in the Epistles. And then there are designated times for studying specific scriptures, passages, chapters, books. Um, and then there's a process of applying what I, you know, what it is, something that stands out. The mornings are the, the, the most, they tend to be the most fruitful times to have quiet time with the Lord because in essence it's like getting dressed for the day. You wouldn't walk out of your house naked. Um, maybe some people would, <laughs> but it's like getting clothed, but it's also a time to um, receive instructions for the day. But another benefit that I find um, in doing quiet times in the morning is um, it sets my heart and my mind on, um, on godly things, on Christ, on, um, on the intimate relationship with Him. Um, so that all throughout the day I'm reminded of something that I learned or a truth I received or even a rebuke that I received during the quiet time. And then my, I'm dwelling on that all throughout the day. So I prefer to wake up and give the first fruits of my day to Him. It's better than life awakens my soul the hope that's inside